Aaron, you expressed your confidence in Chapman heading into this afternoon's game. Does that need to be reevaluated after this, his role as the closer? Well, yeah, we'll continue to talk through that. Obviously, we we'll, we got another important one right now, so we'll that'll be something that we talk, um, you know, after these games and obviously with the off day tomorrow, so we'll have to talk through that. Why throw a slider to Alonzo in that situation? Yeah, I, I don't think that was the right um, spot for that. And was there any consideration, Chad Green, throwing just two pitches, leaving him in there? No, because because once I shot Lowe's length, and then if I shoot Greeny's length, I got no leverage length in, in game two, and we're kind of piecing today together a little bit. So, um, you know, I was going to use Greeny to get out of the inning. If I, You know, I felt like Lowe was at the end of the line there, just running out of gas a little bit, so I had to shoot him there just to get out of it. Uh, but, no, I... You know, it, today I would have gone if I would have shot, you know, Greeny or Low uh, in the fifth for t or or in the sixth inning. You know, had Garrett got through five or something, I would have considered leaving them in. But once I shot the length there and had to go with Greeny there, um, no, we were going Chappie. This clearly wasn't pretty. Just how demoralizing is this for your team, and how do they bounce back for the nightcap? Yeah, it's another awful loss. There's no other way to put it. Um, you know, we, we've the bottom line is we got to have broad shoulders in there, and this one's unique in that we got another game right now, and we got to get over this. And we have to, you know, all the sayings and and whatever. Um, you know, it's 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 really freaking hard right now, and we got to go find a way and 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 go compete our asses off right now. Brian Hoke, please unmute. You have to unmute, Brian. Mm -mm, no, we'll come back. Jake, go ahead. Jake Siner, please unmute. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, this is two of your best pitchers, obviously, and Cole and Chapman are struggling, and their struggles, they happen to align very cleanly with the crackdown on the foreign substances. I'm just, do you think at this point there's any connection there? Are you concerned there's an adjustment they might need to make connected with that? No, nah, I, I think it's, no, I think it's more a little bit of rut they're through. And I look at Garrett today and, you know, had, had the swing and miss there. Um, you know, I think they just did a really good job of, of laying off some pitches just on the margins, on the zone. So they just made him work so hard. And I think that's what kind of got to him there in the fourth. I thought stuff-wise, he was he was fairly electric. He was getting swing and miss. Um, you know, as far as Chappie, you know, I do think in a lot of ways he he cleaned up a little bit of his delivery. Was actually able to get his fastball to the arm side, which has been an issue for him. Um, you know, I I don't think the right pitch obviously to go there with the slider. Um, so there were things about delivery-wise that I think have been related to to Chappie that that we're actually better today, but obviously we've got to continue to, to work to get him right. Ken Davidoff, go ahead. Aaron, just to get uh, clarity on Green, so you were thinking you wanted to save him for game two, you mean, when you talk about length with him? Yeah, once I shot one of, you know, Greeny or low today for length, right. I was going to go with Chappie unless they were in, like, you know, if I shot low in the six, I would have finished the game with him. Once I used his length up, and then I had to use Greeny to get out of the sixth inning. No, I was going Chappie in, in the safe spot today there. Yeah, I guess it's just, I, I think I, ideally, is it fair to say you would prefer to bring Chappie in a lower leverage situation after, you know, after the Angels game the other day? We don't really have that luxury right now. Yeah, I, I guess it, just, it was such a big game. I mean, you really had a really a, a tight spot. Just, just why not, not worry about game two and just, just you know, Chad Green, Two pitches, a pitch wall. I haven't pitched in a week. Why not just finish it out? And then because because I, I we hadn't haven't got to that point yet, and I felt confident in Chappie coming in. That's why. Thank you. Thank yep. You. Dave Lennon, go ahead. Aaron, it's, it's tough for the time that you guys are going through right now. Cole's had a couple not so great starts back to back, and now Chapman seems like a guy that needs to be worked on a bit. How much harder does that make it to try and rebound with with two? two major pieces right there, not, not going through their best times either. Well, we, we can't get to where we want to go without those two guys, obviously. Those, those two guys are critical to what we do. Um, 
there's inevitably going to be adversity as a team, as as individuals, as players throughout the season. Um, and you've got to be able to make the corrections and the adjustments and 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 get your way through it. But look, we're we're not going to be the team we want to be unless you know those guys are obviously huge parts of it. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Aaron. All right, so Boone explaining why he went to Chapman. Obviously, at least going into this game, he's still the closer. Do you believe that still be the case? I don't think so. Not based on the way that Aaron Boone answered that question. Previously, he had talked about Chapman being his closer, and if he had a closing situation, he was going to go to him. And the way that he answered the question after this game is he said, we will continue to evaluate all of our options. I'm just reading the tea leaves. I think if the Yankees have a closing situation in game two, you might not see Chapman. But then again, let's see how the Yankees use the rest of their bullpen because Chad Green would be the obvious choice. Do they need him for a situation earlier in the game? And I understand his explanation about Chad Green, but as the three of us are watching the game, when he only throws two pitches, there is a lane, and, that, and that's always their word, there is a lane to use Green in, in game one and not be criticized for it because you could say, I'm saving Chapman for game two. They wanted to see if Chapman could close a game for them. And I understand he's been their guy. The guy had a microscopic ERA for the first 23 games of the season. They attempted it. They tried it. It didn't work. That's why I think we're going to see a change. Yeah, I agree with you. I think there's going to be a change. I think I would have liked to have heard Aaron Boone answer the question about why was Chapman in that game. And all you have to say is because he's my closer and I have confidence in him. And that's why he's in that game. We had a one-run lead in a, in a safe situation. That's what that man is paid to do. And I have confidence as a manager that's what he should have done. Now, obviously, after this game and the way it turned out, you can change your mind on that. But to go through all of the Loiza go was stretched out and green, I got to save him for game to just say that Chapman was my closer. He was the guy that I wanted in there, wanted to get him back on track and save that game. It didn't work out. Now I have to reevaluate that decision.